So I thought for the project I'm gonna talk about AWS Lambda and associate it with a skill, one of the Alexa skill. So to start with this, AWS Lambda is some is a function that will run without a server. Well, it would run on the server, but you don't have to create a server EC2 instance on AWS. And the big benefit of it is pay. You only pay for what you use. So you don't have any more uh, server running on its own and charging you. There's also an amazing continuous scaling. So if a lot of people are using your server uh, or a lot of people are using your function, it will scale up. So that is the cool benefits about it. And let's dive in. <laughs> so to start with, uh, basically in essence, we're gonna create a skill. I created a skill, which is where when a client reach out to Alexa, it's gonna say something, uh, Alexa open YouTube window which is my skill name, and then that's gonna reach out to Lambda, and then that will activate it and reach, go to a YouTube, go use a YouTube API, and then return uh, the request uh, and return it back to user. So I'll demonstrate how that works. So let's go in the beginning and go into our skill. So this is a skill, we're going into developeramazon.com and going into Alexa. So this is the YouTube skill that I created. And let's see, I called it YouTube window and this is very important because this is what you, we would ask. So we would say Alexa ask blah 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 to do something something. And then it talks about like, is it audio player, video player app? Uh, and it, if it does, you have to add some other parts to the request. So this is how it looks like. Um, so it has three intents, uh, get subscriber count. Uh, so we have these things like intent schema. It's in JSON format. We have three intents. One is get subscriber count, get video count, and the other one is get video count since day. So that intent pretty much tells you that uh, you can use the type Amazon date and say get count of videos since this date. And when you use the date, you can say November 1st, December 1st, and then it's gonna use that date and does a little bit of processing behind. And that's why you put the type in for Amazon date. Um, oh, and then we have to, so uh, Amazon Alexa has a schema and then it has the utterance. So utterance would map from a schema, which is get subscriber count, to what exactly we want to use. So if we say, hey Alexa, ask YouTube window, um, cur cur get ask YouTube window, current subscriber count, it's gonna ask that. We could obviously say, not only put that, but we could say, uh, driver count, and then we can say um, current subscribers instead of subscriber count. And then it's gonna uh, use these two utterance as <coughs> mapping to a get subscriber count schema skill. I mean, intent, sorry. <clears throat> so that's how we all started. Um, uh, let's go into behind the Lambda and then we're gonna actually test it through here. And the reason why we cannot test it through uh, actual Alexa is because if we have a skill, we have to publish it. And this publishing, it takes seven to ten days, but you basically um, prep your skill and then reach out to uh, Amazon and ask them to, you know, to publish your skill, which would be great because then you can go to Amazon Alexa. This is the app version, or you can actually go to uh, or open it, op 
have everything that you need on actual physical device but this is the skills and here you can find any skill and this is cool because you could pro you could publish a skill and just have your name on it right that's kind of awesome anyways so let's go to lambda so for lambda uh, kind of cool so I created one function and this function I just gave it a name it's a node.js by the way and what it does when you set it up you have to give it that you're using Alexa skill and it basically uses the API uh, the lambda function and then it also has a cloud watch logs to it so we're using node.js and okay how do I do that to not show stuff okay let's ah okay nobody saw this of course I don't even know what that would be anyways so just because it has a couple sensitive stuff I'm gonna open it up to here without it being <laughs> too much so in here we have a node.js um, in the um, page and what it needs we need to configure it and for a sample of it you can pull it off the internet um, it's just how do you uh, that it has exporter handler or event context so you just pull the basic template for it but the real magic comes in oh also when you launch an application so when you say open um, YouTube window it's supposed to come back with Alexa scale is running uh, this deployed lambda function to say like yes it's happening <laughs> so for here if you remember we have an intent schema and an intent schema we had get subscriber count and what you do is you give it an endpoint and this one is Google API YouTube um, channel and then uh, you put your ID and then you put uh, you put your YouTube ID you put your private key and then you put a um, rest of the uh, URI so it would be slash something 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 I might have saved it somewhere here mm, no I didn't anyways so it's somewhere there but uh, there's some private information there so I didn't I'm not showing it and the end result should say hey this current subscriber count is blah blah subscriber count so these are uh, this is the little node.js template and please take in consideration there is an arn that we would need so when we create a skill oh no 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 don't go back and when we we don't want to save it ah. okay when we configure it we're supposed to give the arn and um, so that basically maps your Alexa skill to a lambda function that you're gonna be using and it doesn't have to be within your server right so you could use if there's another lambda function that is running on that somebody else runs on their server and you can get their ARN you can pretty much use their lambda function as well but obviously if it's running what you need to run, right? So your skill has to match to what the Lambda function is running. Um, oh, okay. So for um, for YouTube, you can uh, you can get the YouTube key from uh, from your profile, and then you click Advanced, you'll get your YouTube channel key. For the APIs, I found this very cool. So you uh, you create a Google project. And what you do is, when I first started pinging it through a postman, and here is the URI, it has the ID and things like that. So, for example, if I do a send request right now, it, it returns with 10. Before, it was returning with an arrow. And that arrow was pretty much is not the credentials because that's where you have your key uh, but that arrow was I didn't let YouTube data API be enabled through Google API so basically it says if you want to use 
if you want to make these Google requests, you're supposed to enable uh, the API itself. This way you're able to track it. This way you're able to see, to only enable things that you want uh, the engine to query. So we could actually, could we go back? Yeah, we could go back and see the requests and see how many requests have been done. And this one is disabled. I don't know why it says disabled. It definitely is enabled. But you can go into the uh, library and the way you would search is you can do YouTube, but spell it right. And then that's the one that you have to go into and then you would have to enable it. And then it also gives you a bunch of information about it. So now that we, I believe I talked through every, everything that I wanted. Now that we're done here, and credentials took a lot of time of figuring out. Um, but now that we're done here, we can test it. So we can test it through, through the Lambda function first. So when we click test, runs the test, got the logs. And what we get is we get welcome to Alexa skill. This is running deployed Lambda function, which is perfect because this is exactly what we want. Because when we go into here in the beginning, if the launch request succeeds, it's going to return that. And it did. Um, and you can also see, <laughs> you can also see that they're using SHA-256. Uh, you can see how long that, uh, it took to run it and then you can see also how long you were built for even testing this out pretty much build you but it's such a fraction of a cost that it's barely visible so for test simulator um oh yeah the publishing this is where i said we cannot get it published unless it's approved but it's such an incomplete skill so i didn't want to get it published so I thought the only way I can test it is through the beta. And this is a toggle uh, that you need to make sure is on, which is test enabled for the skill. So what we can do is we can say, Alexa, ask YouTube window, get current subscriber count. I might have messed up there. Current subscriber ah, count is 10. Yay! Awesome. And then if we go here and we go on my YouTube, there's 10 subscribers. And uh, if I go and let's say I ask Alexa, what is the next utterance that I had? Current video count? Okay. Um, Alexa, ask YouTube window, get current video count. Okay, I didn't definitely spoke to it. Alexa, ask YouTube window, get current video count. Current view count is 396. Did I say video count? Get current did you count? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, this is very interesting. <laughs> it actually took that utterance and somehow gave me this. Wow! There is probably something interesting that is going on with that. And the lastly, you can, I should have done that in the beginning, which is test the application, but I could say, Alexa, open YouTube window. Welcome to an Alexa skill. This is running on a deployed Lambda function. And this is where we see that, hey, it's working. Good job, good job, good job. Um, so yeah. That is pretty much it. It's very easy to create Alexa skill, but it kind of takes a little bit to understand how exactly it works. So it took me a little bit to figure it out. Lambda is something that I always wanted to try. It was a little bit tricky of getting the, um, getting all of the setup, including the endpoints. Um, but this is something that I actually wanted to do for a while but didn't get a chance to, but now I got a chance to do it. So yes, I hope this was, per uh, this was good and it was enjoyable. Have a awesome day.
that's it. <laughs>